Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sahula Sand Safari, where we have just witnessed Temptation, one of our newest additions of our wonderful giraffes, uh, go ahead and mate, and she does actually have a baby due pretty soon, you guys. I am so excited about that. Oh, we were thinking of just going ahead and releasing her back to the wilds, but I think that she is going to do just fine. She's already at two or three stars, which is fantastic. And I think we might actually begin trying out a new tactic in our quest to be able to complete the community challenge of releasing tons and tons of giraffes into the wild. And I am doing my best to try to get to the upper echelons of people who release the most giraffes. But oh my gosh, even though we have released nine giraffes, we are only level two out of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tiers of people who are releasing giraffes to the wild that have at least two stars. We're going to have to work hard to make sure that we can really claim our way to fame and reach such great heights and maybe even get some very special rewards for ourselves in our Zudesia Zoo, which I'm sure all of you guys are still keeping those ideas coming, right? Right? Because I totally need ideas for how we could celebrate this giraffe challenge in Zudesia since we don't get the Ossicone outfit in Planet Zoo. Still a little bitter about that, but that's okay. Also... Ta-da! Warthog research is being done! Good, good job, Assistant Archaeologist Fox. So Fox is currently researching the warthogs for the precious new babies we have, you guys! Including one of the babies who just won me over, like, completely, who is named Um. We have a warthog piglet currently running about with her little tail high up in the air, and her name is literally Um. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever freaking heard? I love her. I love her. I love her whole family. All of the warthogs are just frolicking over here, which I think is amazing. And I want to try to convince them to spend a little bit more time hanging out together. <gasps> Look at them follow their mom. Oh, that is so precious. I want to convince them to spend a bit more time hanging out on this side. So let's see what we can give the common warthog from our research thus far to encourage them, hello Ellie, to stay over here. I wanna turn this into like a really muddy area that they can enjoy a lot and convince people to come and look at the warthogs and enjoy a fruit market that we are going to be opening up. Huzzah, huzzah. And hopefully that'll be fun. Um, and then we can even make it so people can see the back of the cheetah run. So I have big plans. And I'm going to try to like shove down my overzealous plans that I have every single day when we dive into uh, Suhula Sands to one zone. So today's plans are going to be contained to this area. The goals are to make a mud area for the piglets, are to go ahead and create a rest shelter for the piglets, and work on the fruit market. Also, we're going to do an experiment of seeing if we can actually rescue some giraffes from the animal market and release them to the wild once we rescue them. So we might try that out with this guy. How about, we're, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try it out with um, this male giraffe right here. We're gonna adopt him and we're gonna actually see if we can add in rescue giraffes and if they immediately have a couple stars or not. Cause if they do, that's going to be a lot easier to get up this challenge than what we've been doing all week. <laughs> so we'll have to see. But little um, I want you to come over here and play in the mud and to convince the warthogs to come and enjoy life over here. We need to go ahead and make sure that they know they've got their food, that they can come and enjoy their noms. We need to give them ooh, a little place to rest. There we go. Maybe we can even give them a, a tiny little cave for a hard shelter. Um, an enrichment. <gasps> little warthoggy enrichment items like wind chimes. Oh, that's precious. Okay, we're going to put a, a wind chime down. And they need some food enrichment still. Do they have any food enrichment? <gasps> Fruit spike trees? That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. We can put some fruit spikes over here and say that they're donations from the people who run the fruit market. Oh my gosh, and Karma the Second is mating. Yes, 
Oh, and there we go. Okay, so the new giraffe has just been added in. That's Karma the second. Uh, new giraffe, new giraffe. So the new giraffe has just been added in. Let's go ahead and find her and see if this works. Or him, excuse me. Because it's a male giraffe. Kashia. He's one of these ones. I have many. Okay, this is him. He's already three stars. So if we release him to the wild, like, it, is it really that easy? <gasps> Talent! At 31 years of age. Talented the second. Leaving behind. Wait, oh, he died before I could check. Leaving behind. Who even knows how many children? Talent the second has just died of old age. I need a way. I need a way to memorialize. Why? I haven't been doing this. I've, I was supposed to be naming my giraffes that, that pass away over here. And I haven't been. And I feel really bad about that. But this is going to be Talented the second. And I'm going to give him golden colors. Because he was quite the amazing, amazing giraffe. I love these guys so much. We're going to start doing this more often. Grow our zoo so we always remember those who came before us. Uh, but all right, let's check the challenge real quick. Because if it's literally this easy, I'm going to feel like such a goose bucket. Uh, but we're at nine giraffes right now. If it's literally this easy, then like, why did we do all of this work and build our way up so high? And we're going to go ahead and release this rescue giraffe after we give him a name after one of you guys because all the giraffes released here will be given a new permanent home in Zudesia Zoo and so this guy's gonna be dun 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 let's see ooh ooh okay so sunburst your name is the name that came up oh and you're from manatees are epic hi oh heck I'm so excited to see you so I'm gonna name this guy Sunny because he's just got a really sunny personality and we're going to go ahead and release him to the wild for less conservation credits than we got him for. I'm adding him to the list of giraffes that will be added to Zudesia Zoo in our Minecraft series. Did that get us to 10 giraffes? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We can just adopt all the giraffes we need. We can just rescue all of the giraffes we need using conservation credits and get ourselves up to the maximum level you guys i need a minute please watch this cute baby we have been breeding we have been raising we have been transforming the vast horizons to be the perfect giraffe paradise we have been doing so much to make this possible. And you're telling me that all I had to do was do a big giraffe rescue. All right, look, I like giraffes. I like the idea of running a giraffe rescue right now. I, I, I think that that's great and we can actually work with that. We can go ahead and say that, you know, all the giraffes we get from the trade center who apparently are automatically three stars, that they are rescue giraffes because we have to use conservation credits in order to get them, right? So they're rescue giraffes and we get our conservation credits mostly from cheetahs and lions as well. But man, do I ever need a minute? <laughs> do I ever need a minute? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and we're actually going to name this little guy Flummoxed. After the fact that I feel completely flummoxed. <laughs> about this entire situation. I can pivot. We can do this. Flummoxed, I'm going to add in a giraffe tree. I think I'm going to start adding the giraffe trees a little further out and we can move them in as we have more spots for them. And this is going to be giraffe tree for Flummox. There we go. I'm feeling kind of flummoxed about this. But I can pivot and we can totally adapt and do this then. Okay. So actually, all we really have to do is basically adopt these giraffes and then release them again. <sighs> and then release any of our giraffes who managed to get high enough on the level. <laughs> like, skillful. Skillful, my boy. 
how high level are you now? That's Jabari. There's Carmina. And Skillful the second. Who we can actually release to the wild now that he has reached two, two stars. Alrighty then. And we can actually take... This is how we could do it! Skillful had 600 conservation credits, right? When we just released him to the wild. So then let's flip around and let's say we use those three or those 600 credits to come and this this girl was 300 credits, right? So then we'll go ahead, we'll add in that girl and rescue her, quote unquote rescue her. And then uh, we'll, we'll use some of the conservation credits that we get from the giraffes. We'll say that one more giraffe of around 200 is what we can adopt and then release. That's not really how I thought we would be doing this challenge, but I think it's fun because then you can say that every giraffe you release contributes to the betterment of other giraffes. Uh, so yeah, that, that's cool. For every giraffe we release, we'll take their conservation credits and add, like, look, now we have Malika. She's already two stars. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to name her, um, I'm gonna name her maybe Empathy? Because, like, having this empathy towards this whole situation. Uh, uh, also, I need to have Skillful a second. And then we'll release Empathy as well. And so Skillful being released was with Empathy. And thanks to his contribution and thanks to being able to release him to the wild and now being able to release her to the wild, it's like every giraffe we release actually gets us further up the challenge even faster. Because now we're at 12 giraffes! Oh my heck, and we're still not anywhere on the community contribution. <laughs> okay, this is a weird way to do this challenge. It means we're going to be searching the market, oh my gosh, like this. And now we can just go ahead and we can try, like, here's another giraffe. We'll get the mail. Here's another giraffe that we can now name and release. All related to, you know, having worked with Skillful. So maybe that's what we do. Huh. But that would be like self-limiting for this challenge, wouldn't it? And this is not exactly an easy challenge, so I don't want to self-limit. And we could just like adopt a ton of giraffes, to be completely honest. We have a lot of conservation credits. But you know what? You got to use those conservation credits for something. You have to use them for, for the betterment and the good of the animals, right? And being able to release a bunch of the giraffes and work on the challenge, that seems appropriate. We're not even out of like rank seven. Like, how is that possible? <gasps> and look, all of our Ellie's are coming to play in the mud. Oh, I love it. Okay, well, I got vastly distracted to say the least by this unexpected development of realizing we didn't even need to breed up our own giraffes, like what? I think it's appropriate to have been completely flummoxed by that for a second. Um, and then we need to get back on track. And here is our new female, or our new male actually. He's already two stars. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna name this guy Possibilities. Possibilities. Adaptability, right? So we're gonna just release him to the wild. And this is all from Skillful's conservation credits that he was worth. And then we're gonna go possibilities onto my list of giraffes that we're going to put into into Zudesia. And sure enough, we are now churning up that list. <laughs> didn't expect this. <laughs> I didn't, but I guess we're just gonna call this the Grand Giraffe Rescue. And it's definitely pivoting into a direction I wasn't anticipating to say the least. Because look, this guy, we actually have enough credits from releasing possibilities to just add him in here. And we can name this guy Adaptability. <laughs> and just kind of keep going. That feels so broken, but it's only because we have the conservation credits to do it. Well, I think we just beat the challenge, friends. I literally think we just beat the challenge without even really doing anything to beat the challenge. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So you know what I'm going to do, guys? We're going to, in the background, keep that, that challenge going. 
And in the background, we are going to continue to do our best to work on ways. And let's actually wiggle this way and wiggle that way down this path. We're going to continue to do our best to work on ways to reach the top of the giraffe challenge. But we are also going... Oh, and this thing is going to break if I don't get it into a mechanical zone. But we're also going to move on, and we're going to start working on normal bits and pieces, and we'll just continue with the giraffe challenge as long as we can. Adapt ability. Welcome. Welcome. Adding him to the list of giraffes. And he's only one star, so we actually have to leave him in here for a minute. I guess it's kind of a roll of the dice to see if the giraffe you adopted... I mean, he's really low quality for his fertility and longevity. But hopefully he'll be happy enough that we can treat him as a rescue giraffe and release him at at least two stars. Alright, so we'll just run this as a giraffe rescue then. A bit of a pivot, but we can do it. I know we've got this. And then otherwise, I think we might resume kind of the normal bits and bobs, but just every episode we'll work on trying to adopt a few more giraffes and hopefully it'll add up um and let's actually put in a sign about the elephants over here and then a sign about the warthogs over here and speaking of our wonderful giraffes guess who's having babies yay also let's get both of these solar panels into a mechanics work zone please I'm going to hide this one over here and then put a path down. There we go. All right. And we'll loop you around and eventually we'll make more out of this, this spot. Uh, and let's get both of these into a mechanics work zone. Heck. And we're learning so much about warthogs while we're at it. I have to admit guys, like I I'm excited that we figured out a way to make it work. But I, I actually do have a little bit of the wind taken out of my sails. <laughs> uh, because I thought for sure, like, we'd be able to... We'll do ostrich overlook for those. Uh, I thought for sure that, you know, we would, we would have a harder time. Or at least it would be more related to what we're doing. But I guess there's no guarantee that the giraffe you adopt are going to be the ones that will actually help you out. Uh, are any of these... Let's actually have you come over to Ostrich Overlook then. Mechanic cannot reach my habitat. The soul of Sulani. Oh, because we're going to need a new mechanic for the... Oh. All right. But I hope that made sense. I was just... I, I, I just kind of got a little startled. There we go. I just got a little bit startled that all you have to do is kind of adopt a giraffe off the market for like a couple hundred and then you get there. But that might explain why the challenge involves so many giraffes. Uh, so with that in mind, we'll just keep doing that. We'll just keep rescuing giraffes and we'll see how far we can get you guys. You know what? It's still going to be fun because it's going to be a ton of giraffes and I'll be really proud if we manage to work our way up to the top tier. Uh, also, let's call a mechanic over to fix this. And then before I forget of our amazing fruit market that we are trying to work on over here, I'm actually going to add in, let's see, let's try adding in a new drink area for our guest. We learned last time that if we put down the, the energy drink, people actually get a lot of energy. So if we give them smoothies or juice, and this can be like an apple juice station, maybe with apples imported from our wonderful Wildberry Island, hmm? So if we give them juice, let's see if they get other kinds of boost. There we go. And then let's move this forward just a little bit. There we are. And this is going to be a brand new employee of ours who we're actually going to name Vess. So welcome to our patron Vess, whose contributions to our Patreon help us to make all of these adventures as surprising as they can be possible. And uh, you're gonna be Apple, Apple Orchard, uh, Apple Orchard Vess. And you just, you live in an apple orchard. You love what you do. And hopefully we'll, actually let's do pineapple. <gasps> yes. 
Why not? Let's do something more exotic. Let's do pineapple. Um, pineapple. Chef? Vess. Yes. There we go. You've been promoted, Vess. Congratulations. But all right. Oh, and Aqua. Aqua the lion has now died of old age. I do believe we're going to need to come in. I've been missing out on my trees for my lions, too. Oh, my gosh. I got so... Ah! I got so distracted. Aqua, do you, do you really want... Okay. I feel like Aqua wants her memory to be made extra special with a really unique looking tree. So let's actually come in here, flip this, flip that, and we can have a tree that's two trees merged together. All right, over here, here and here, merge into scenery. And this is now going to be a lioness aqua. There we go, memory tree for her too. Oh, all right. Well, yes. Okay, guys, we figured out we just have to rescue giraffes. And as soon as they arrive, once they hit two stars, out they go. Uh, and we'll get up to the levels. But I guess otherwise, we'll just continue to focus on the rest of the area and our own little projects while we're at it. Jabari is now two stars because he is so freaking happy. So he has given us 300 more conservation credits we can use. This is going to be really easy. After not making a ton of progress, now we've just figured out you just have to kind of work with the market, I suppose. And let's see if Adaptability is ready to go and get us up to 15. He is! And Adaptability! There we go! And he's ready to go out too, and we are now up to 15! 15, 15 giraffes! And we still haven't managed to wiggle up the levels. Well, that's okay. At least we're making a little bit of progress, and I feel very proud to be contributing to the overall goals of releasing all of these giraffe. Uh, but like I said, I guess we'll like adopt a handful of them every day. Oh, and Lonely is finally about to die of old age. Oh, old man. And next time, we're going to invite in a brand new lion to come and take Lonely's place. And I think we'll just pick a new spot to focus on. I was, I was definitely flummoxed today, that's for sure. Oh, rest in peace, Lonely. We will, we will bring in a new male to rule uh, some of the territory that this pride, which is not led by the males, is in soon. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like, even though we were flummoxed. We found out the secret! We just need to rescue a bunch of giraffes! And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.